Yo, what's up, guys? It's Rick Stevenson from Aurora, Illinois, chilling with Import, and this is how I conquered my creativity. I've been grinding since I was a youngie, youngie. I've been grinding since I was a youngie, youngie. I've been grinding since I was a youngie, youngie. Uh, none of y'all white niggas, y'all can't tell me none. Hey, 15 with the flows like I was Chris Miles. Hey, blowing so, up a starting things off, let people know how you got your start. All right, dope. Well, my name is Rick Stevenson. I'm from Aurora, Illinois. I first got started with the music stuff probably back when I was nine, ten years old. Just messing around, we know certain things. You know, I actually started on a two-track recorder. Okay. You know, I would like just beatbox my, you know, beats, then just rap over it, and then it just all took off from there. Wow. Yeah. So like, so you started when you were ten? Yeah, nine or ten. And how old are you now? I'm fifteen. Man, five years, and I yeah. I checked out some of your music like. To see your development within five years and you still so young, that's incredible, man. Thank you. Like, as far as songs, what songs have you, well, what song have you dropped right now that people can actually check out <clears throat> on your SoundCloud or YouTube? Oh, uh, well, I just, well, I didn't really just drop it probably like a month ago. I dropped uh, a single called Off the Noggin with my boy Dre. It's okay. just literally off the noggin, just freestyle, I kept retaking, retaking, retaking. But it's on my SoundCloud, if you look me up, Rick Stevenson, it's on there. Cool, um, yeah. as far as like upcoming events, um, shows, do you have any upcoming events or shows? Not right now, just working actually on an EP. So um, just getting that all together, then probably when I finish that, get some more gigs and going traveling and stuff like that. Well, talk about the last gig you had. I was actually there. Uh -huh. I'm mad I missed you. I didn't yeah. even know you were there. Yeah. But, you know, let let the fans and the supporters know uh, your experience for that. I mean, it was dope. It was a dope set, you know. I went on last because I showed up really late. <laughs> but it's all good, though. So I had, a, I had a pretty decent set, you know. Me and my boy Exosh, we tore it up. You know, I just brought him along with my set. You know, cr crowd was dope. Everything was just dope. It was a dope vibe. Man, that's good. Yeah. Vlogging. So I was on Twitter. Yeah. Um, and I noticed you put out a vlog. Yeah. Was that yep, that was your first vlog, right? That was my first vlog, yep. What made you start, you know, actually showing people the inside life of Rick Stevenson? Too many questions, you know, like people I haven't really like opened up more to my fans publicly except for on like Snapchat and stuff like that, but like people that don't have the access to Snapchat is always asking me like, you know, what do you do in your everyday life? You know, how do you do this? How do you do that? So, you know, and also, you know, comments on YouTube asking for me to do vlogs. So finally, I just decided just, you know, start vlogging and stuff. I probably have like four episodes just on my computer right now so I can just drop it, you know, drop it, you know, then film more, but yeah. That's not bad. That's a, yeah. I'm gonna be honest with you. That's a smart idea. Yeah. Because like in today's world, when it comes to music, and being an artist, people, the way to get your fans up and actually grow a support system is by letting people know who you are. Yep. And when you're vlogging and you're bringing people into your world, that's what help you grow. So, yep. hey, I applaud you on that. It's, it's you. tough. Yeah. But you can do it. I saw the first vlog. I'm like, hey, you yeah. got it. You got yeah. the chemistry going. All right. But I've been on Twitter, Instagram, you know, social media, and your name been popping up constantly. Yeah. I even have people call me like, <laughs> like, Biko, check out this guy named Rick. It's Rick Stevenson, right? Yep. Like, check out this guy named Rick Stevenson. He's dope. He's young. He's 15. Like, check him out, man. Right. Just listen to him. So, I check you out. I'm like, man, he, he this guy is. I'm like, he is dope. Right. And then one of my um, one of my mentors, Freddie B, reached out. Like, mm -hmm. he hit me up. He say, uh, Biko, check this young kid out, man. He he remind me of you when you was young. He was like, you know, check him out. So having having certain names grab onto your name, how does that feel? Like, could, how does that feel like to have you know people? spreading that name word of mouth that can actually you know help further your career like it's crazy it's a crazy feeling you know especially since me only being 15 like when i first like started all of this like i did not know it was probably going to go as far as it's going right now okay but like it's just i mean it's an amazing feeling but at the same time i still you know give all the glory back to you know the most highest you know because I mean, that's, you know, yep. who get, blessed me with the gift and stuff. So I never, ever get, you know, too big headed about a situation. I always just, you know, 
pray about it, humble myself so I can always get more, you know, and then uh, receive more and continue to touch other people, you know. So it's, a, it's an amazing feeling, but, you know, I just keep focused. Hey, you have yeah. to keep, you, ha you got to stay focused, man. Yeah. It's, a, it's, a, it's a tough industry, but I see you doing well. Yeah, thank you. I mean, you're, you're only 15. Yeah. That's, that's, that's what I want to ask you, too. Like, being so young, how, how does that affect you when it comes to, like, getting shows or, or you know, really wanting to, to make the music you want to make? Because, yeah. you're, you know, you're, <clears throat> you're so-called at, a, I guess you could say, another level of making music. So, like, mm -hmm. does that... Does that hold you back at all? Oh uh, yeah, 15 is like a, a burden, kind of. Because I mean, like when it's time to like book shows, like that's that's a risk that the promoter is taking. So like, they're like, dang, 15 year old kid, oh, I haven't even checked out his music. You know, that's just like, that's like taking a huge risk. You know, cause most 15 year olds, you know, they're just like starting, they just start rapping at 15, you know? So they're probably, you know, not that well developed yet in their, in their craft and skill. So like, it holds me back a lot, but like at the same time, it's like a hit or miss, hit or miss. So it's just, you gotta play your cards right. You know, some people may listen, some people may not, you know, people are asleep, right? Some people are asleep right now, but like when it's that, when that timer goes off, mm -hmm. it's going to be a huge regret, you know, because I mean, like, even though I, I know, I know, I know my, how, what I'm capable of as in create in creative wise, like I know what I can do. I know what my, what I can't do. I just, I just try my best to like, let everybody know, you know, yo, I'm Rick Stevenson, you know, I check me this. out. Yeah, I can do this. But it's up to the audience to accept it. You're you know? right. You got so. a, You're right. And like, I, I, when I first learned about your age, I'm like, man, he's doing better than people that's been grinding mm -hmm. in this game for quite some time. So, I mean, that's, that's impressive. Thank you. Keep it up. Thank you, you. Like definitely. I say, you'll definitely go far. Thank you. Um, school. How do you, you know, how, how do you combine school and music? School and music, uh, it depends. It all it all just plays off perfectly. Um, get home. I probably I don't. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I don't do my homework when I get home. I don't think I've you been know. involved. With that. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I'm not, I don't do my homework when I get home. I literally probably go straight to music. But then when I I feel my conscience like going, Yo, Rick, get the homework done. Then come back. You know, I get the homework done. Come back. That's how I get it done. Study whatever I need to do probably like an hour or two, then um, I'm done. Get back to the music, but yeah. One thing I would say is take school more serious. Yeah. Because the music business, it should actually be called business music. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So any, anything you learn, and like I said, you, you, what you about, a freshman, sophomore? Freshman. You're a freshman? Yeah. So you're a freshman, um, ooh, you got a lot of, a lot to, to gain, man, a lot of knowledge to gain. I say yeah. once you reach your junior, senior year, you know, you're gonna have a, the ACT test and all yeah. that stuff. So take, grasp everything you're learning now because you're gonna need that. Right. And once, once like I said, once you entitle those school books into your career, you're gonna, you'll see a, a whole nother transition, man. Mm -hmm. It's business before music. Um, right. As far as like, as far as things being, uh, what's the most difficult I want to say, what's the most like difficult session you had, or like what was the most memorable time you had? As in a session? As, as in, or, yeah, like in a session you, you you've done. Most memorable time. Um, let me think. Probably. Hmm. Had a lot of those moments. What's the the one that come to your mind the most? The actual the song that you feel is 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 that special to you? Probably off the Naga. Off that I released because like the thing is I didn't write anything down for that song. I literally just ran straight in the booth and just laid it down. Wow. Like probably like three takes, like whole three takes. Wow. Like no stopping, just like a whole, you know, that whole clip you see on Pro Tools. Yeah. Yeah. That's amazing, man. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, you keep that up, you're going to be laying hits on top of hits yeah. with ease. That's the, that's, the, that's the plan. But um, we're going to get into the game. Okay. Now, it's Super Bowl season, um, and today is actually the Super Bowl. So who you got, Broncos or Panthers? Uh, to be honest, I don't even know much about football. 
So just pick one. Throw one out there. I'm, I'm going to break it down. Panthers got Cam Newton. He always dabbing. And then, I picked that guy. There you go. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Panthers yeah. it is. Panthers. Quality or quantity? Qu Ooh. Quality or quantity? Quality. Good answer. What's your favorite? What's your celeb crush? Celeb crush? <laughs> oh. oh, celeb crush. Uh, there's a lot of those. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Um, Megan Good. Ooh, I like Megan Good too. That'll work. There go your celeb crush right there. Megan, if you watch this, make sure you reach out to the young brother. You know? <laughs> on this island, you, you, you stranded on the island, right? Yeah. On the island, there's three songs. Well, there's three genres, actually. Okay. You got classical, pop, and jazz. Which one would you listen to the most? Uh, dang, that's hard. Jazz. Jazz? Jazz, jazz, jazz. Why? Why jazz? I mean, the island vibe. The... It'll make you get yeah. through the day. <laughs> like Jamaican man. You know? <laughs> hey, I, I, have you ever been to Jamaica? Nope. You should go. Probably. It's super hot, too. Super hot? Yeah, too hot. <laughs> but um, if you wasn't making music, what do you see yourself doing? Probably. I mean, because, like, my family's, like, filled with, like, politicians and doctors, lawyers. So probably one of those type of people. Uh -huh. Which yeah. one? Which one the most? Would it be the doctor, the politician? Probably doctor. Because Dr. Stevenson sounds like really hey, that, cool. Hey, that, that sounds like, sound like a TV show, bro. <laughs> Dr. Stevenson. <laughs> so I'll probably be a doctor if I wasn't rapping. Dr. Stevenson. <laughs> Name one person, dead or alive, you always wanted to work with. Michael Jackson. So that might answer this next question. Who's the best of all time? Michael Jackson. We pretty much summed it all up. <laughs> MJ. You got any like uh, shout outs you want to give? Any? Shout outs? Yes. Definitely shout out to you because... Jason. Gave me this interview, dope. Um, shout out to uh, First Class, my media group. Shout out to Illport. Shout out to all the fans and everybody who's watching this right now. You guys are dope. And shout out to me. I don't know why, but shout out to me. <laughs> hey, you grinding. You yeah. gotta shout yourself out. Yeah. But like, yeah, shout out to all the supporters, everybody supporting. Thank you guys. With that being said, man, this is Rick Stevenson. This is your boy Biko signing off with Illport. I'm out.